Hey everybody, it's Paula from Crafting by the Pond. I hope everybody's having a fab fabulous day. Um, welcome back to Hashtag Stamping Sunday. Today we are going to be doing another crafting in public video. It seemed it went over pretty well, so I don't know why, but... <laughs> Um, anyway, so I guess what we'll do today is, um, if you watched, um, my last haul video when I went to Hobby Lobby, I did pick up, uh, some treat bags, so, um, they're just kind of plain, so I thought these would be perfect to just, you know, do a couple treat bags, um, jazz them up a little bit. Um, so anyway, I will go ahead and just, I picked, um, this, uh, Stampin' Up! set that I like that has the spiders, the little cute little spiders. They're not spooky, but um, I just thought that that would look cute, so we'll try it out and see how it goes. Um, and then I just uh, picked out the some word stamps because I thought that would look, they would like fit really well on there. And I'm going to grab another little set of some like little bitty ones, Halloween ones. So let me, give me one second, guys. We'll use those too. Um, again, if you wanted somebody who was prepared, you should have <laughs> clicked on the wrong video. But anyway, so I'll just uh, put a little music on and I'm just going to work. I realized that uh, the last time I did this, I sigh a lot. And it's... <laughs> That's weird. But anyway, I don't I wasn't even aware that I do that and um I'm probably going to do it again. So anyway, uh off we go. <laughs> embossing powder. I think I've had this for like 20 years. I've got a big huge 
tub of it and I just refill this small one. So what this is going to do is make it like it's going to emboss it so it's raised and it's going to be shiny and really pretty. forgot to put the thing in there. <laughs> Remember we talked the last time when I tried this and I think because of the material in the front so on the inside it kind of gets heated and it makes it stick a little bit but check it out guys it worked out I really like it. So yeah that's a bonus. So we tried that one. Let's try some of these word ones and see how we do. This is a stamp positioner. I like these if you're using like the photopolymer stamps because if you make a mistake which, you know, crafters, we don't ever do that. <laughs> um, you can re-ink. I'll show you what I mean here once we get going. Okay. And this is what, I think it's a, they called it like an embossing buddy or something. Um, and what it does is it won't, the embossing powder doesn't stick. If it makes it, like if you, cause sometimes you can see it. So this way it only gets, it's kind of like an uptake only, it only uptakes to the ink and not the rest of the, whatever medium you're using, the paper or Whatever. Oh, let's do something first. Hang on. This might work. Yeah, let's try this. See that. It's just like a tag. And I know we can use him too when we're done. Alright. Oh, I would think we could probably put that in before. We use the heat gun because if we do it prior to it's going to not do what I want. Okay. So this you can't really stamp off. You do but you're going to be stamping off on whatever medium that you're using. I'll show you what I mean. So we got it where we want it and then you just kind of this is really hard for me guys because I normally stand. See and you can see that there's some spots on there that just didn't quite pick it up all the way and I don't know if that's actually the stamp. I think it is. I think it's meant to be that way. Um, so let's see what else we want to do. We'll just leave that for now. I think it's supposed to be that way. And it says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. So I think let's try this little witch and ink her up and see how she looks. So with the wood block, you only get like one shot to make it good. 
you know, stamping a lot of people, it, it's it's not easy. Because <laughs> if you mess it up, you mess up your project. And you have to start all over. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, okay, we got lucky, guys. Right. Let's see. Ooh, and there's a little hat. Cute. Cute, perfect. These stamps are really good. These are from 2001. Um, and the other set that I'm using is from 2004. All right, now what good is a witch? Better cat. Let's stamp it off first. Perfect. Okay. Okay, let's go back to our embossing powder and just put this on here. Oh well that was smooth. <laughs> Again, crafting in public. You never know what's gonna happen. We just got ink all on the bottom of the tray. So let's just get you out of harm's way here. The faster you can put the powder on before you um, Boss, it'll bite more. All right. So let's hear some user tag. How did we get ink on the back of it? Like what? <laughs> Is it me? I don't know. Okay. Oh, that's fabulous. <laughs> that is fabulous. <laughs> it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Okay, let's try another one, guys, and then I'll let you go. So we're kind of on a roll here. All right. Should have grabbed some baby wipes. So which one should we go with? I'm here for the candy, put a spell on you, trick or treat. Let's see. Oh, what we could do. I'm just here for the candy, because there's a caramel apple. Yeah. It's small, but it's like perfect for this. I have the larger Tim Holtz one, and that one's okay. But I think I am going to get the big, the large Misty. That's going to be my next perfect, big, you know, big item because it's really good. So if your stamp hasn't been inked yet, you can just position it where you want it, but first let's make sure that we don't get a bunch of extra embossing powder on here that we don't want. This 
way you can position it like where you want it and then it'll stick. the stamp where it doesn't See what happened is I touched the actual it was too it was too close the heat gun was too close and it kind of if you can see right there yeah crafting in public people <laughs> happy accidents right <laughs> all right sometimes you can't fix your happy accidents um, so we just got to go back to the old drawing board here okay now that, I wonder if that's going to concern me. Okay, no, probably not. And if it does, it's the back anyway, so it doesn't really matter. have to stamp them off but to craft and talk at the same time. I usually don't talk. So I think if you guys take this project on, it works out really well if you just use like the tag because it gives a little more like stability. 
to the treat bag itself. All right. Now, let's not get too close. finished product. So we have that one. Hocus, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. And then the cute little spider. Hold on, let me move this over in case it's still not dry. And then the cat from last week. So I think that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Um, thanks to all the ladies who are participating in hashtag Stamping Sunday. Again, it's an open collab. You can jump in and out as much as you want. Um, and I hope you have a great day. Oh, um, hi, Mom. Hi, Pop. Hi, Dottie. Hi, Bubs. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, and hey, guys, uh, be sweet and be kind to each other, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye.